Hey gorgeous, I just have been, had my head down, focused in on the second draft of the book. I'm just into the second chapter and I'm talking about emotionally triggering and hijacking the difference between how I perceive hijacking, emotionally hijacking and being emotionally triggered. For me, being emotionally hijacked is much more detrimental it's it's longer term it happens in the unconscious mind rather than it happening it happening consciously and it's interesting that emotional hijacking and emotional triggering i have used to start my recovery and healing journey when it comes to dealing with trauma so let me just quickly explain explain the explain the two different things that i'm talking about so emotional triggering now this is in the context of trauma because the book is about personal trauma that i've experienced um, neglect abandonment rape abuse a whole list of hot things um, dis disability discrimination there's so many i can't actually remember them and list them all off as there's just too many unfortunately <laughs> but, okay so let's set the scene this is in the this is in the context of trauma experiencing trauma having lived through or traumatic event it doesn't matter whether it is a one-off event or whether it is multiple events and you know your trauma and your experience is unique to you but the body and the mind has a specific way of dealing with it and that's what it is that i explore in the book so emotional triggering for me is shorter lived you are consciously aware of being emotionally triggered so something will have upset you something will have pissed you off something will have frustrate you something will have got your back up you'll feel angry irritated annoyed but it's short-lived you you go through a little bit of a journey a little bit of a process and you come out the other side it's quick now emotional hijacking is when something happens and you're not consciously aware of what's happened and what can happen is you can get stuck in this emotional vortex stuck in a loop to such a degree that that hijacking that emotional hijacking takes over your personality the trauma that you experienced in the past and what you're experiencing now the mind in some way and the body in some way has made a connection between the trauma that you experienced in the past and the current situation or whatever it is that you're moving into it has associated that you are going to be at some level of risk so it's going to work extremely hard to make sure that you don't put yourself in the same situation so what will happen is is that you get stuck in this emotional loop you become emotionally hijacked whatever your belief whatever your belief system is whatever your values are however your personality and you deal with particular situations will go on automatic pilot and it will start to dominate and take over what it is that you want to do so example say i wanted to and this is a live example i wanted to speak at an event and my subconscious associated speaking at that event with a traumatic event that had happened in my childhood now while i wasn't consciously aware of this my body and my mind was picking up signals that it wasn't going to be safe for me to do that so what it did was it completely took over and it stopped me from speaking at that event so even though consciously i wanted to do it unconsciously it was going nah wendy i'm not having any of that so being emotionally triggered is short term 
you get angry, you get irritated, you get annoyed. Being emotionally hijacked is generally in the unconscious. It's hiding there in the background. You don't necessarily have a conscious awareness. So it's much more difficult to deal with because you don't understand what is actually going on. So it's longer term. It's, I think it's more damaging to your mental and emotional well-being, your health, because you're unconsciously living your life based in the past. So it's preventing you from doing what it is that you want to do. When you have a conscious awareness of emotional triggers, you have the choice. You can do something about it. You can navigate, go underneath, clear, find out why you're having those emotional triggers and stop them in their tracks. So you can deal with them. Now, how I have dealt with both is I have, first of all, worked through what I'm aware of consciously, what emotionally triggers me. There's quite a bit. <laughs> or what used to be quite a bit. <laughs> you can navigate, navigate those easily enough. Okay, you might feel a bit of inner resistance. It might be a challenge, but you know, you could, it's conscious. You're aware of it. You can do something about it if you want to. And you're going to want to do something about it because otherwise you are going to remain a victim to those emotional triggers, which you don't want because that is extremely unhealthy. Not just for you emotionally, but it, it just puts a halt on doing what it is that you really want to do. So what I've done first is I've addressed consciously the emotional triggers that I am aware of. Now, once you start dealing with those emotional triggers, what will start to happen is because you become more in tune with figuring out what's going on, what you need to put in place, is that you start to clear the way, you start to build confidence, you start to build that resilience muscle, and then you will experience the unconscious slipping into the conscious. So each time you are clearing things that you weren't necessarily aware of before, which ultimately creates a sense of safety, a sense of safety, nourishment, compassion, love for yourself, forgiveness. Once you embrace these qualities, you can then start to move through the resistance it is that you have been experienced right through to the other side so you can create a more up-to-date fresher perspective on the trauma that it is that you experienced in the past now this doesn't mean you're going to go deep dig deep go into the minute detail of what happens that's not what this is about but emotional triggering and the being emotionally hijacked are two totally different things in my book one is conscious, you're aware of, you can do something about it. The emotional hijacking is a little bit more tricky because you don't necessarily have a sense of what's happening. So what you need to do is start gradually and build that resilience muscle. I'm obviously going to talk about it a lot more in the book, Be More Wolf, which will be out shortly. It is my story of survival and how you can start to recover and heal from trauma and navigate your way through it and move forward. Awesome. I wanted to do this because I'm very aware that I've had my head in the book for four months now, solidly, and I haven't been showing up because I got very tunnel visioned, very focused in on writing because it's been, to be honest, it's been a real challenge. It's not something that I've found easy especially when you're digging back into trauma so again i've had to work through navigate some emotional triggering that has happened to be able to write this book and produce it whatever you're doing today beautiful have an absolutely gorgeous day and i'll be doing videos yeah i'll be definitely be doing videos more often now so that I can connect with you and you can see what I'm up to and how how things are, are going I've been feeling a bit 
a bit detached from you all.